1917 is a World War I film following the story of two soldiers who are sent on a mission to deliver a message warning other soldiers of an impending German ambush set around Operation Alberich. I will say this is an excellent film to begin the new decade. One of the best aspects of this movie is the cinematography. This story is shot as one long continuous shot and it's executed so well most cuts are almost unnoticeable. And it actually became a fun game of find the cut. I counted about 30 but I could be wrong, but I digress. But besides the long take aspect, the camera and framework was very well done showing either the beauty or destruction in the wide shots of the countryside or the claustrophobic shots underground. You could always feel a sense of tension and scale. The setting of the battlefields and trenches were recreated quite well, looking exactly like the original war from the uniforms and weapons to the barbed wire, the dead bodies, smoke and debris everywhere. It looked like a real battlefield. The acting across the board was fantastic with an interesting cameo from Benedict Cumberbatch. However, the lead characters Blake and Schofield gave a powerful, strong and emotional performance. As we follow them through the war-torn country side of Germany, we get to see some great back and forth between the two, offering a few good comedic moments, but more so they do a very good job conveying their bond of friendship, all the while learning about their backgrounds and even their emotional baggage. And while there isn't much in terms of character development, our leads are likable, they're smart, cunning, and you feel sympathy for them as they're charged with this dangerous mission. Another strong aspect about this film is the always present tension in every single scene. It's just these two soldiers alone, sneaking through enemy territory with a constant threat of the German army possibly around every corner. Corner. The story lures you constantly into a false sense of security, keeping that tension by not overexposing the enemy. The eerily silent atmosphere of the country and the distant sounds of battle keep you on the edge as they come across numerous traps and obstacles. Along with the cinematography, the lighting as well did a very good job conveying the movie's atmosphere. The minimalistic lighting in the tunnel scenes are particularly terrifying, not being able to see more than 10 feet in front of them or the scenes taking place in the German city Ecoast. With the numerous flares being launched, creating constantly shifting shadows, forcing our protagonist to be constantly constantly on the move, it's a great scene. And despite the film utilizing long takes, the action scenes still felt very intense, from the various one-on-one -on -one firefights or hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes to the final sequence of the soldiers rushing the battlefield with explosions and bullets flying everywhere. While not as intense war scenes like in, say, Saving Private Ryan, the movie did a very good job conveying the brutality and horrors of war. Overall, 1917 is a powerful and amazing war movie, and was a great way to start the new year. Well, that's it for today, guys. Until next time, MC out!